Hello, hello and welcome back. Anomaly can get quite repetitive if you play through the main story multiple times. Although encounters can vary from run to run, you'll still be completing the same quest on each run. So in this video today, I'll be promoting some ways in which you can change up your typical gameplay loop. As always, if you have any questions, come join me when I'm live on Twitch, link is in the description. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe for future content. First and most popular type of run is an Invictus run. An Invictus run requires you to beat the three main story quests, Living Legend, Mortal Sin and Operation Afterglow without dying twice. And yes, this means that you can die once in a run and still get the achievement. Make sure that debug mode is turned off in the launcher as this will instantly invalidate any run. As you can imagine, this achievement is very hard, as it is very easy to die in this game, so I only recommend this mode for experienced players. My main tips are to play the game slow and only take fights that you are certain you can win. I often forget in this game that you can retreat from fights that are not in your favour, and this mindset normally costs me runs. If you are bored of the typical storyline, then you can choose ISG in the starting menu by typing the letters ISG into the new game menu. ISG have their own custom questline which is quite fun to play through. However, ISG runs can be quite hard as you're only neutral with mercenaries. The other faction which is different is Sin, at least in Gamma. They will start with the Lucifer artifact, which provides very powerful buffs, but slowly decays over time, requiring sacrificing other artifacts to keep you alive. You can emulate this on other runs or mod packs by just giving yourself a not artifact when you start. Another built-in game mode is Azazel. This mode starts you like a regular run, but on death you'll randomly possess another stalker in the zone. This can be any stalker from anywhere in the zone. You'll also get their items that they have on them at the time. This means that sometimes you'll get lucky and become a high ranking ecologist, but other times you'll become a renegade. An interesting feature is if you have companions, you will become one of them. Next is the souls like mode. This is a mode from a separate mod that was recently included in Gamma. Honestly, the best way that I can explain this mod is it is like Minecraft. When you die, instead of just reloading a previous save, you will respawn in the last bed in which you set your spawn point and all of your items will be put in a stash where you died. When you respawn, you will have barely any health and only your PDA on you. You will then have to go and retrieve your items. This mod will require you making multiple backup kits in the event of a death, which makes the gameplay loop quite different. I think this is one of the best ways to play this game, as the typical system of just reloading saves upon death has always felt a bit cheap. Now, death in the game is actually punishing and not just a waste of a few minutes. A mod I covered recently is the Black Road mod. This mod will change how you start the game. You will spawn in a random, typically desolate location with only a PM pistol, knife and a torch in the middle of the night. Your goal is to survive the night and find the nearest safe shelter. This mod only affects the early game so once you get to safety the rest of the game will play out as normal. One type of run that I do quite often on streams are themed runs. This is when you restrict yourself to only using weapons of a certain type or theme. For example, I have a series on this channel where I try to beat the game with only the TOS34 series of weapons. Other runs that I've done on stream is the quite popular cowboy run, where I can only use cowboy themed weapons such as revolvers or lever actions. It is quite good timing as a high quality lever action mod was just released as of uploading this video. As for revolvers, the Covenant weapon pack is a very high quality one. Last type of run that I can think of is restricting yourself to one caliber, for example, I've done a run before where I could only use 9x18. This can get quite interesting as some guns, like the MP7, can be rechambered to 9x18, which is pointless on a normal run, but actually quite useful when playing like this. Although, I will say, trying to kill Edelon with 9x18 is quite interesting. If you are like me, a loot goblin, then the next challenge will be especially hard. You can only carry the guns in your slots. If you find a new gun that you want, you will have to sacrifice a slot in your inventory, just to carry it around. You can take this a step further by not allowing yourself to store any guns in your stash, meaning the only guns that you can have must be in your slots at all times. Another challenge for loot goblins is the wheelbarrow mod. This mod will add a wheelbarrow which acts like a mobile stash. The challenge is this is the only stash you can use in the whole run. The only way to move the wheelbarrow is to push it which leaves you vulnerable as you have to put away your weapon and can only walk. I quite enjoy this mod as although it's a pain to push around, having all your items on you is actually quite handy. Last and a more casual mod is the gun game mod. If you don't know, gun game is a mode popularised by Counter-Strike, where every kill will swap your weapon for a new one. 
This mode surprisingly works quite well for Stalker due to the massive variety of guns in this game. Honestly, I think this mod should be default in Stalker Anomaly as it fits the theme of the game very well. So that was some alternative ways to play Stalker. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe for future content. If you have any questions, come join me when I'm live on Twitch, link is in the description. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.